After this National Day long weekend, on 10th August 2021, we will enter a new phase called the preparatory stage. Preparatory stage. This is when we will make important adjustments to healthcare protocols, rules on social activities and travel to prepare ourselves for a transition to a COVID resident nation. The preparatory stage should last for about a month or so until, say, early September. By then, we expect 80% of our population to have received their full vaccination regimens. And if by then we can continue to keep the number of severe cases, illnesses under control, and our healthcare capacity is not overly stretched, we will be able to move to the next phase called transition stage A. This is when we will further open up our economy, social activities, and travel. Then our lives will be more normal, livelihoods will be better protected. But when we do that, we must expect infection numbers to rise. And it is therefore very important that we continue to vaccinate as many people as possible. And in addition, for those who are unvaccinated, we will have to try to protect them through differentiated safe management rules. We must also maintain a strong system of surveillance testing of travellers, those on quarantine, or those with acute symptoms, and all those will likely continue. We will also expand wastewater testing for early detection of clusters forming in dormitories or in parts of our housing estates. We should also get used to rostered routine testing so that people who test positive can self-isolate or be isolated to slow down the transmission of the virus. And if the pandemic situation with all these measures remains stable at transition stage A, we can then consider opening up further to transition stage B and eventually to a new normal as a COVID-19 resilient nation. So altogether, four stages, preparatory, transition stage A, stage B, COVID resilient nation. The transition roadmap will therefore be a very careful balance between lives and livelihoods. We will continue to push for vaccinations, implement differentiated rules on social activities to protect the unvaccinated, deploy testing as part of the solution. And we will also continue to put in place safe management measures to protect the general population.